Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who's going to our seventh year of homeschooling, which is real crazy. Um, and we come here and we share what we're using and learning about along the way uh, with particularly a secular focus. Today, I want to share with you Discover Science. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. So, here's the situation. Timberdoodle has changed the science curriculum included in their non-religious curriculum kits. We used Building Blocks of Science, the last one, um, in second grade and did not love it. And so we have never used it again. I do not have the intent necessarily to use this program. However, when they were asking questions about why people did or didn't care for Building Blocks of Science, because I think they got a lot of feedback that said maybe a switch was, was worthwhile, they then started looking for other options. As soon as I saw that this was available to get my hands on, I came running to find out what is new, what is different, what is happening to the science in the new kits. So I actually had a lot of people asking about it as soon, because everybody knows I love me some timber doodle. So I had a lot of people asking about it as soon as everybody saw that there was a switch. And so I am so excited. We are going to do a little down shoot. I haven't really looked through here too much yet because I want to have that kind of like real reaction with you. It is, this is all it is. So it is two workbooks, A and B, and then a teacher's instructor's guide. Now, the one thing that I did look through here for was like how um, science experiments and things are done. And one thing that I cannot find for the life of me is a like uh, supplies list, like a materials list. I cannot sink and find it like at all. Um, there are not too many lessons. There are so easily you could get through this in a year. Um, it does cover, and we, we can go over this when I do the down shoot. So let me focus. Let me tell you that this again is included in the non-religious kits. And I think they did it all the way up like through six. Um, and they also swapped to their social studies. So that's something else to look out for. Um, but these are included in the kits, or you can purchase this individually for $117.50, which is already cheaper than the last one. And these are consumable. So it's all just kind of one book right in there. That's where the, it's all in here and it's color, which I think is nice. So we're gonna give a little down shower and talk about it because I'm so excited to, that I was able to like reach out and be like, yes, this, I want to talk about this. Please let me talk about this because I get so much feedback on the science. We talk about all the time. You guys know here all the time. So I'm excited. Um, let's get into it. We're going to go down shot now. All right, guys, here we go. As you can see, it's three books. This is it. Um, let's start with the instructor guide. And like I said, I, I looked and I can't find, it might be here, um, but I can't find it. The supplies, like materials list. So I'm interested to see what that does. Now, I like that it's broken out so neatly here with your table of contents. It tells you everything you're gonna learn. Oh wait, there's 13 chapters. <laughs> turn the page. Oh, 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 oh. All right. 13 chapters, 78 lessons. So they do recommend that you do two, um, a week to get through in a year. Okay. So lesson objectives by the end of this lesson, your student will be able to do these things. Okay. Experiment family treat. These are extension activities. What does a perfectly toasted marshmallow look like? Okay. It gives you the answer keys and then lesson two and the whole book is laid out this way. So it's pretty simple as far as the instructor manual goes. And then at the end is uh, a review and then a chapter assessment, which I think is great. And I need to look and see if this is only in the student uh, book or in the instructor manual is the assessment, but it's got the answers for you at each one alternative assessment rubric. So it gives you that option for, um, different things to assess. 
Here we go. And that's all the way through 13 chapters. So it does go over, and they do have a warning on their website, and this is, you know, just because they're neutral and not secular, that it goes over the human body systems, reproductive systems, and um, creation of the universe. It just gives you kind of that heads up, which, you know, you may or may not want, but I guess I can appreciate. Um, so there's that. Now let's pop over here and look at, we'll start with the uh, 6A, okay, for the student book. Now the student books are in color, which is really nice. Table of contents, right? So this one goes through chapter six, and then the other one will go a little further. Work texts and instructor guides, it tells you what to expect. Planning your day and school year for a total of 150 days, two to three days to complete. Each lesson takes two to three days to complete for around 150 days of instruction throughout the year. So that's how you're gonna use this, okay? It says, as you begin each lesson, they recommend three pages the first day and two pages the second day. Lesson overview. These are the parts of the lesson. So there's the lesson overview. Explore this page is key as it's designed to engage students and encourage the discovery of new concepts. Direct instruction, which is read, write, and then practice. Students practice what they've learned through various engaging activities, graphic organizers, matching, drawing, experiments, and hands-on learning. And then you show what you know, okay? So that's fun. Let's go in and look at, we'll just pick kind of a, there we go, lesson four of whatever chapter this is. We'll pick something in the middle here. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to lesson review. Here's your academic vocabulary. And then it's, you have to go figure out which page it was on, which I think is nice. Now over here, they have your explore in the real world, read, write, read and write over here, practice. And then there's your review and it goes through the other things here. Nice fill in the blank. Here's using a classification system. I'd like to find one that does have an experiment just so that we kind of get an idea about what that is. Take a closer look. Let's see. Review. Okay, here's explanation of that. Direct instructions, pages three through five. Has experiments, okay. Graphic organizer. Oh, here we go. Yeast temperatures. Do an experiment to see at which point yeast is most active. So then it tells you exactly what to do. The steps are right here in the book. There we go. That's pretty cool, pretty simple. I think it's nice. I like that it's glossy. I like that it covers so much. It seems like it is all encompassing, which other than I do think having a materials list would be nice, but I don't think that it is necessary. For this experiment, you'll need two temperature safe glass containers that can hold two cups of water, food coloring, a timer, and a pen or pencil. Okay, so none of it seems too um, involved or hard, which is nice. So it may just be things that you do have actually around the house. Uh, so that's actually really nice. Candy in a bag, that's simple. Okay, so it seems really kind of easy to get through here. I do like it very much. So yeah, I don't know, I like it. Do I incorporate it? That will be the question, won't it? You know what? I'll probably just let her decide. We'll see how this goes. All right, guys. Um, yes, let's pop back over for our little conclusion, shall we? Guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. Now, I don't know that we will pick these up for our own personal use. However, I know that there were so many people asking. I really felt like I wanted to do you all justice and give you a look at this with my opinion on it. And this is how I choose curriculum. Not that I always have it in hand to make those decisions, but these are the ways that I'm evaluating pieces I wanna use and pieces I don't wanna use. So I hope that you found any of it helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, 
turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Um, I will have this linked down for you below. I do have a special link for that. Um, so be sure to use it if you wanna go check it out. And again, this is the new science for the new kits and I'm so excited. They um, they were kind and sent it to me. So huge shout out to the folks over at Timberdoodle for uh, just letting me flip through a book and talk about it with you. So 